They served our country during the Vietnam War. Now, more than four decades later, more than 100 veterans from Kern County are in Washington, D.C. with Honor Flight Kern County. 17's Aton Wallace is traveling with the group and joins us now from Washington, D.C. with the latest on the trip and the warm welcome our veterans received. Good evening from our nation's capital, and let me tell you, it was not just a warm welcome, it was a hero's welcome for these men and women who served our nation. Just listen to that applause. Dozens of strangers came together at Baltimore International Airport this afternoon to welcome the 101 Vietnam War veterans as they arrived with the 41st Kern County Honor Flight. Veterans with whom I spoke were emotional, noting the warm reception they received this afternoon is a far cry from how they were treated when they returned from war more than 40 years ago. Right now, when I walked into the airport, the greeting that we got made up for the greeting we didn't get when we came back from Vietnam. They did an excellent job. I couldn't think of any way to have it any put any better and to make us feel a welcome home this time. Why is it so important to honor our veterans? It's important to um, let them know that they're very special to our country and that um, just to let them know how important they are for what they've done for us. It's important to give back to the people who helped us the most. And to make sure we show we share affection towards them and make sure that they know that they are loved and thanked. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm told this is the second largest Honor Flight Kern County group since Honor Flight Kern County first launched less than a decade ago. Now, a little bit of how the rest of the day went. Today was primarily a travel day. The vets met up this morning at Meadowsfield Airport. There, this charter plane was waiting for them. And after a four-hour flight, the group arrived in Baltimore. Following a bus ride to Washington, they grabbed a quick dinner at the local Veterans of Foreign Wars Hall. Now tomorrow, Honor Flight will visit some of the monuments, get a tour of the Capitol, and of course, visit the Vietnam War Memorial. Be sure to stick around with us on 17 News. We will capture these powerful moments, and of course, on our social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Hope you can follow along. Reporting from Washington, D.C., Aton Wallace, 17 News. Looking forward well to that. Done. I saw some of the videos he posted on uh, Instagram, also on uh, Facebook and Twitter. So definitely a great way to follow along on that journey. Uh, I've experienced that arrival at Baltimore International Airport, yeah. and it is so emotional. That's and amazing. Yeah.